Nin explains, Public Speaking 101, Getting Over the Fear. Ah, public speaking. The thing that you guys probably hate the most. And I'm surprised that so many people have such a problem with public speaking. Almost 70% of the Western population has a fear of speaking in public. That anxious feeling. You can feel your heartbeat in your head. You start sweating, shaking, tensing up. And the sudden urge to drink and pee at the same time. And that's before you start speaking. Whilst you're speaking, you're panicking that you're going to forget what you're going to say. You start stuttering, pausing for long periods of time. You look like you're about to get run over. You notice lots of people watching you. And wow, there's a lot of people. And you just want the ground to swallow you up so that you don't have to do it. Well, if you think like that, of course you're going to be scared of public speaking. How could you not be? That's a scary image that you've concocted for yourself. The key problem here is fear of embarrassment, fear of shame, fear of people judging you. If you have a bad self-image, you're probably thinking of every worst case scenario that could possibly happen to you. Public speaking is quite an expansive subject, and this is the first part of a three-part series. It's now time to let go of the fear so that you won't be scared to talk in public. Okay, how? It's now time to disassociate the feelings of fear, stress and anxiety away from how you think about public speaking. It's a big scary image that you've got in your head for sure, but I want you to shrink it, shrink it and move it off into the distance, drain the colour out of it, turn the volume knob down on it, make sure that you shrink it, shrink it in your mind and throw it away in the distance. I want you to keep doing that until your fear of public speaking has less of a hold on you. Remember, we're trying to break the association of your thoughts of speaking in public with the feeling of speaking in public. Next, it's time to imagine what it would be like to actually succeed. I want you to get into your mind what it would feel like if you were absolutely amazing at public speaking. Imagine what you would look like. Imagine what you would sound like. Imagine what it would feel like to exude confidence and to practically own the room. Feel how good it would feel if everything went perfectly. And this time, let's brighten up the colors, turn up the volume knob, make the image big, bright and bold, make the sounds loud and make the feeling strong. We're trying to add a good feeling to public speaking as opposed to snapping the negative feelings with public speaking. And understand that it's okay to make a mistake. All humans do. You're not the first. <laughs> and you're certainly not the last. Just brush it off and carry on. The worst thing you can do is draw attention to your mistakes. So our profits for the year are... <laughs> Keep repeating these exercises over and over and over again until the feelings of fear, stress and anxiety don't affect how you speak in public. It's perfectly normal to feel a little nervous and a little anxious before you start speaking, but not to the extent where you practically vomit and poop on stage. And yeah, sometimes that happens. Tune in the rest of the week to see parts two and three on Public Speaking 101. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Download my free ebook from my website, follow me on social media, and if you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below.